You don't need Pokemon Go to find a Pokemon. They're in real life. Catch them all. Sea King Sea King is one of the most beautiful water-type Pokemon from Gen 1. It evolves from Goldeen and is known for that horn on its forehead. Do you know what animal it looks like? Well, the subspecies of goldfish, Ryukin, that has an orange back and black spots. Identical, right? Kabuto This is a fossil rock water type Pokemon. According to the Pokedex, it lives kilometers deep. In real life, this is a horseshoe crab. It even has the same shell and the same way of moving. Livani Livani is a bug-type Pokemon. Shouldn't it be grass-type for its leaf shape, though? The thing is, this is a disguised insect. In real life, this is a leaf insect. Will it be able to use razor leaf? Picky Peck This flying-type Pokemon can peck a tree 16 times per second and it stores food in those holes. Plus, it can spit seeds so strongly they get stuck in trunks. Have you guessed what animal it is yet? Exactly, the Pileated Woodpecker, which is one of the many species of woodpecker. You can find it in the forests of Canada and the United States. Charmander Charmander needs no further introduction. Even the baby boomers have heard of it. Several 3D versions circulate on social media, and only the tail flame is missing because those versions are extremely identical. If we look into the animal kingdom, Charmander is a red eft. Though others say it's a red salamander. Which one do you think is more similar? Let me know in the comments. East Sea Shellos Shellos is a water-type Pokemon from Gen 4. There are two variations, West Sea and East Sea Shellos. The latter is light blue. You may think this kind of creature is all in your imagination, but it does exist. It is real. This is a Lox Chromodorus, a species of sea slug with Shellos-like mantle and antenna. Isn't it amazing? Bulbasaur Right, right, Bulbasaur is a toad, but what toad? You won't believe me if I show you one with even the same spots. I'm talking about the European Green Toad. Let's go, Green Toad! Fine whip now! Stunfisk This Pokemon lives in coastal mudflats and has succeeded in generating electricity that it releases with a smile on its face. Where can you find it in real life? On the beaches, of course, because this is a soul. Look at it, this animal also seems to smile. Pinsir. This bug-type Pokemon shows off its claws. The bigger they are, the more partners they attract. They're so strong they can cut trees down. In real life, you can also find it in a bit lower level though. This is about the European Stag Beetle. Check it out, it even has those protuberances in the claws. If I ever encountered this insect, I'd run like Misty. Metapod. Yeah, yeah, we already know that Metapod is a cocoon, but what kind of cocoon? Well, it's that of the Cabbage Butterfly that looks pretty much like Butterfree. Males even have the black edge. Getting back to Metapod, or should I say the Cocoon, it's green and kind of curved. Come on Metapod, use your iron defense! Now we already know where we can find one of the most iconic Pokemon characters. Dragalge This Pokemon from Gen 6 is a poison dragon type. And its poison is strong enough to corrode metal and make any ship sailing around its territory sink. In real life, you can find it in the Australian seas. This is the Leafy Sea Dragon. And it also has purple parts just like the Pokemon. Clauncher. This water-type Pokemon can regenerate its claws. 
One of them is huge and can hold prey, shoot water guns, and even smash rocks. In real life, this is the blue crayfish, and it lives in Florida. Dwebble. This bug rock type Pokemon likes to bore through stones to get a house. However, this is actually about the strawberry hermit. That is an animal with even the same bulging eyes and orange hue. Carnivine. This grass type Pokemon from Gen 4 lures its prey with its sweet smelling saliva and then swallows. Though it takes a whole day to eat the prey. You can find it anywhere in the southeastern United States under the name Venus Flytrap. That hunts just like Carnivine, but doesn't have Leaf Tornado. Scizor. This bug type Pokemon's claws weigh a third of its body weight and have painted eyes on him. If you want to see it, you should look for the Orchid Mantis whose specimens, especially the youngest ones, are red and black. That is, they're identical to Scizor. Poliwag. Now it's time for a Pokemon that is best known for being introduced in Gen 1. It's more agile in the water than on land, and the spiral on its belly is none other than its guts. In real life, Poliwag is referring to the transparent Costa Rican tadpoles, whose guts form a spiral. Who knew that it could exist? Dialga. It's time for a legendary Pokemon, so old that the time is said to begin moving when it was born. It's a steel dragon type and starred in the movie Pokemon The Rise of Darkrai. What animal is this Pokemon based on? Its type gives us a clue. This is a blue sea dragon, a strange blue mollusk that lives in European, Australian, and Mozambique waters. Love Disc When this water type Pokemon falls in love with another Love Disc, they join mouths to swim faster and never separate again. In the real world, this Pokemon isn't a full scale, but an entire fish. This is the Kissing Gorami. These fish are famous for putting their mouths together. Oddly enough, studies say that it's not an act of love, but a competence. Ursaring. Ursaring lives in forests where it spends its time storing food. It's a normal type Pokemon with a large white circle on its body. One of its moves is Lick, which is a ghost type. In the real world, this is the Sun Bear with a U-shaped or circular spot sometimes, just as Ursaring has. Plus, it has a 10-inch long tongue. Do you understand now where the Lick move came from? Whirlipede. This bug poison Pokemon from Gen 5 spins at such a speed it can reach 62 miles per hour. In the real world, this is a common pill bug that has the ability to roll up like Whirlipede. Have you ever seen one of these Pokemon characters in your life? Don't forget to comment and hit the bell icon for more videos.